I hope I won't break it because as I see it's not yeah hello everyone today we will continue with the print head so let's get started so we need our PNG kit and a couple printed parts so it's starting with the kit I think I can put here we need to put these bearings in the in this pin and one yes and we will use the one has no grab screw we will place this one and we will place the two we will place the two in this part it's just snap it's clicking its place and it's rotating freely that's what we want then we need this and this of course we want this we will place this place we'll place this pairing in here we will place our earring like this and after that we'll place other earring with this direction and we'll just apply thread locker on it just a little bit of course the grub screw will again sit on the flat part I think yeah Okay, and it's aligning with the front pad, it's visible, then we will need a PTFE tube, so it's saying that the PTFE tube should have 7mm excess, so I just chamfered a bit from the outside also, select this one, as it, then we will put the, yeah for the hot end fan, air should goes in from the front and out from the back They're normally they have an arrow on the side of the fan however it has not but in the most case the front part is air in and back part is out that's okay so we need to just put it like that in space for the top part of the fan so first place the uh, fan you're on the inside space then clicking from the bottom and the wire should look right and there's a pad for the wire in here so it will come in like that and then the second one of course the for this ones this empty part there's the airflow out for example this this has the arrow okay then we will put the wire for the hot end fan its place and then slide the pulling fan yeah and like that aha uh -huh. no not like that left fan again this part should this is the air input this part should look in here and the wire should have the same pad for like like hot and fan so the fans are done Our two heads we will remove this top part with these two screw and we will put these in here and and the thick part yeah like this orientation however before putting here this i will place the thermistor and the meter cartridge i will again use 50 watt meter cartridge and I bought them as a spare for V2, but uh, why not? I will. Yeah, I need to get spare now. <laughs> for the wire direction, what should it be? I insert the care heater cartridge and the uh, thermistor. This time I route it in the upside. So gently I just turn them like that for both. And now we can install our heater to full uh, head. So for that, put this, like this. Can't believe it. 
right here. We need two and two point five six. Um, it will be a little tricky. Out of these, I put the hot end also. I wrote the transistor cable to where there is a two fan cable, and I wrote the hot end cable where there is a one fan cable. I just did it like that. I don't know if it's the right way or not. It seemed right to me, so I did it like that. Let's put some socks. And we need to use MR85 small bearings to here. We will put M335 from the front. Mm -hmm. Placing this one, I will put some grease on here and on the extruder. I did the same thing for V2. I, will, I am uh, putting grease on this part, the gear gear part, and this part, and the plastic gear and the the gear which is placing on the rotor. This one, just all these parts. I'm not applying any grease. Just these little bearings or small these ones. Place this, just sliding its place. Let's check the filament path, it seems fine. For now, we will place this one. And we will place this now, this one, and put M3 by 30 in here, put M3 by 30, and screw them. Then install your thumb screw, uh, grab screw. Okay, check for binding. Let's see our gear is. Definitely extruding and of course retracting. It seems fine. Something is touching the some move, moving part, but I don't know. When I put the filament, it's smoother and it's pulling the filament. And also the bites are nice. Let me check it one more time. With the clean filament. Yeah, the bites are nice. It's biting but it's not chewing it. Now we will put this on gantry. Now we need to remove the back since it seems fine. I filed this pin a little bit. If you remember, I explained you it should be three millimeter or less to hold the or less much to hold this bearing it was three point something in mine and i found that it can cause the issue because it was passing this plastic part and there will be a motor in here so motor will sit on the part of this pin so if it is out from plastic it can cause a problem so it was a half a millimeter or something most probably it was fine but again i just filed them a bit now it's flush uh, with the plastic part so that should be okay and now I will take this part and screw it here with the M2 self tapping screw we will mount this piece to carriage we will take our heads mount its place so that X I will guide the excess belt the outside of the outside here, I mean the outside of the hot end. 
in there it sh they should be okay I'm checking the wires yeah, they seems fine and you know the routing the belts inside here won't not work because it's not same level so I'm just opening the sideways and trying to align after putting these small pieces I just put the head and tighten this screw this M3x35 and M3x30s and I routed the, like I said, thermistor wire from the left and the heater wire from the right. Our tool head is also done and now we need to put the extruder motor. We will just place this one but what about the cabling? I'm guessing the cable will look at the up because if we put down it doesn't make sense. Again, we will route from the side and it will. Okay. We will call that cable in the middle with the extruder and make a sleeve. I think it should be up, yeah. This part is done. We need to put these two spacer here and here. I think that size. With again, M2 by 6. There are two slots for the cable uh, zip tie for the cable management, which is nice in a nice place. However, these are small, very small, and, uh, and I don't know, maybe they forgot, but they were not zip tie on my package. And what I have, smallest one that I have, and the wide, width wise, it's not small enough. Let me double check. Or is it? I hope I won't break it. Because as I see, it's not. Yeah. And I broke it. As I said before, it's white. It's not thin enough to go inside there. With scissor, I just try to cut it in half. It's holding for now, but if I play too much, it will. Geometry place, however, since they will be collected in one place, I can also apply from here. And yeah, I think it will be collected like here. So, what I'm thinking, since this is the heart, the wire is can be we can give the shape at least a bit. So, I will give a L shape in here and I will zip tie from here to this. This is giving me clearance in the belt, so I'm also holding the cable, so it's good enough for me. But don't force a lot with the thick cable tie. Lessons learned. Okay, yeah. Nevertheless, that was it for today. And thank you for watching and see you in the next one.